This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Four Seasons Lanai. Aloha and welcome to another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style right here from the beautiful Four Season Resorts on the island of Lanai. Don't forget to pick up our DVDs. You can get them online or check it out cookinghawaiianstyle.com. Also, cookbook number one is available at amazon.com. Also, pick up our cookbook number two in your favorite store or on our website. We got a great show for you today. One of my favorite artists, Kimmy A. We'll be here in the kitchen cooking. Maybe we'll get her to sing too. So let's get cooking. When you're living on the island, such a diverse Hawaii. When you've tasted all the flavors from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kimmy A. How you doing? Hi, I'm great. Thank you for having me. It's so beautiful here. Isn't it? Oh my gosh, yes. I want to live here again. Me too. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. I know you've been so busy. You've had a crazy schedule, haven't yes, you? Yes, I'm releasing my album. Yeah. My album's out. So. That's, congratulations Thank on you. all your success. We had a chance to uh, go to Japan. Yes, and, and uh, eat Ono Kind Grinds. Everyone loved you. And I, so I didn't know that you, you actually could cook until I asked you on that trip. I'm still learning, but I really do enjoy food. Yeah, yeah. of course. We local, right? That's all we do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you uh, What are you going to be making today? Um, well, first I'm making haula shrimp. Uh -huh. So uh, there's the famous kahuku shrimp right. and all the famous shrimp trucks. But um, I live in haula, so we make our own style. Yeah. And then do you, uh, <laughs> when you're away, like do you, what is the thing that you miss? Like what's that comfort food that you have to have when you get home? Uh, poke, yeah. raw fish, and poi for yeah. sure, yeah. And then when you're on the road, is there anything you cook besides Simon? No. I eat a lot of Mexican food. <laughs> Do you though. really? Yes. Oh, that works. Food. That works. It's easy, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, today I guess we got to get started. What, what do we need, first of all? Okay, so these are ganja big shrimps, yes. but um, you can go to Costco and get those shrimps there. I find okay. those to be more affordable. And you want them deveined, but you leave the shells on them. Okay. And then we have garlic, lots of garlic. I uh -huh. put extra because I like garlic. Oh, yeah, you got them. Clarified butter, cayenne, pepper, um, paprika, and flour. All right. And we're gonna make, you're going <laughs> to do a little mix for, for the shrimp, right? Yes. So we'll get that started. So, this is paprika. Okay, how much do you put there? Just um, a pinch? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons? Two tablespoons. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, a little bit more. Sorry, I don't know. Right. And then a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, but you can do it to your liking, you know, yeah. if you like it a little bit spicier. I do. Of course, nobody does it exactly. No. Right. So, when did you start playing music or figure out that you were going to make a career out of uh, singing? I started writing and playing guitar when I was 14 at Kamehameha yeah. Schools. I was a boarder. Uh -huh. And then when I was 19, I got a chance to tour with Barrington. So I, um, wow. that was kind of when I went on stage no, and you, decided you, you I wanted to You say you were that. a boarder. You know, we got a lot of people listening, watching in Canada and Australia. And Kamehameha Schools, of course, up on the mountain on Oahu. But you're from Maui. I'm from Big Island. Big Island. Yes. I met you on Maui, I think. That's yes. where it was. So, so then you boarding, so you actually attended live, from them. Yeah. yeah, I live on campus. Yeah. So we didn't do much cooking there, so, and I didn't get to eat a lot of home-cooked meals. Uh -huh. I think that's why I really enjoy this that's now. That's good. That's good. Yeah. All right, so we did the paprika. So what else? Cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper and flour, flour. And then you grab the shrimp. Okay. And you just want to... That's some nice size shrimp. I there. know. Good. Exciting. Good and then right. I pat it so that it doesn't um, get too, like, caked caked on there. You got some nice pearls there. Oh, thank you. Have you, have you uh, performed in Tahiti? <laughs> yes, we just got back from Tahiti. Yeah, how was that? That was amazing. They, they love everything Hawaii, don't they? Yes. Oh, yeah, it's like Hawaii. It reminds me of Hawaii maybe yeah. like 50 years yeah, ago yeah. or something. Well, papayate smells like diesel. Yes. <laughs> I love the outer islands, Huahine, Yeah, Moorea. that's the best part. So we got to check those out too. And how they take how, how they take to your music? Oh, good. I mean, my dad works for Hawaiian Airlines, so uh -huh. I've been going there since I was 16. Oh, so you know what's going on yeah. over there. And they all sang along to your songs? Yeah, I wrote a song called Hinano uh -huh. when I was 18 in Tahiti, and so that song kind of That was like stuck. a year ago. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so how many shrimp are we doing? I mean, just you and I are eating, um, so I'll take about a six seven. myself. 
six for myself, so you'll um, do seven. I don't know. I think one more. Okay, you do one more. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna do uh, we're gonna saute these, or how we're gonna do this? We're gonna bake yeah. these later. No, we saute them. We're gonna them saute on them with, with some butter. Yep. Okay. Why don't Clarified we do a, why, don't, why don't we do a couple more? Okay, fine. Yeah, because you know the camera guys. You know, I you know, yeah, always like true. eat after. You know what's a cool idea too is to do the shrimp crawl in Kahuku, and my boyfriend and I did that after one of my long tours I was uh -huh. on. We decided to try all the different shrimp. Oh, that's the way to go. And then Kahuku. you burp for the next three and days you know garlic and shrimp. I still like the haula homemade shrimp the best. The best? Yeah. All right. When we come back, we're going to throw this in the pan and uh, get some smells and cooking going. Mm. Kimie is here today, so don't go anywhere more with cooking Hawaiian style. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style from the beautiful Four Season Resorts on the island of Lanai. We have Kimie here making her haula shrimp. Have you ever tried uh, Mike's Huli Huli Chicken Truck? Yes, of course. He makes a good shrimp yes, as well. He does. I gotta say what's up to Mike. He always watches the show. So we're gonna get this cooking. Yep. Yeah, are you ready? I turned the fire on for you. I got okay. some pan. How much butter do we need? Okay, so it's supposed to be half a cup. Okay. But I'm just gonna eyeball. Okay. Yeah, plenty of butter is fine. I like plenty yeah. of butter. Yeah. Yeah. Got Just a little bit. And then we need the garlic first. Okay. Some garlic. Of course, it's not uh, it's not good if there's not a plenty of garlic, oh, there's right? There's kind of stuff on there. Okay. That's All fine. Right. I'll put this on the side. And then, yeah, you, you want to put ten cloves of chopped garlic. Okay. And. You know, if you see, like, if it seems like it's too high, you can always just move this a little bit. Yeah. So the butter doesn't yeah, so we burn. Don't, uh, make the, we don't want the, the garlic to get bitter, huh? Yes. So you Very gotta, important. Yeah. Yeah, I put plenty of garlic. Put yeah, them let's all just in put there. it all in yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Most of them are for me anyway. Yes. I love <laughs> garlic. My all house right. loves garlic. <laughs> what's your, what's your uh, go-to dish when you, when you cook at home? What do you like to cook? Um... Well, my favorite thing to cook is Julia Child's Bouffe Bourguignon. Really? Uh, yes, really. It well, takes a while, but I love it. it say tastes it so again, good. please. Bouffe Bourguignon. We can tell you've been practicing <laughs> that. And what is Bouffe Bourguignon? It's basically like a French version of beef stew. Okay. Yeah. Everyone loves a good beef stew. Hot yeah. rice. Mm, we yes. need to get rice for this, by the way. I, yes, I see you can absolutely. Get, I hope you cut the rice cooker going. Yes. When you cook rice, how you cook rice? Go home cook rice. I do exactly the same amount of water for rice. You don't use your finger? No. Oh? I'm, I, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> Today we're just kind of winging it, but uh -huh. usually I'm very precise because I like to follow yeah. recipes exactly. That's good. That's good. I, I usually use the uh, second line a little bit higher because my fingers are shorter. So I use the second line to measure the water and the rice. Anyway. My dad taught me that. What's way next? Too. Okay, so once you got the garlic kind of cooked up a bit, you want to put the shrimp inside okay. the bambucha shrimp should we turn this up a little bit more sure all right uh, turn this up just a little bit all right and we don't want to overcook it right yeah because we want that uh we don't want no rubber yeah and then no. you put some salt once you put the shrimp in okay put some salt and then you let it cook for about three minutes all right on each side. Yep. And what what do you uh, what inspires you to write music? Is it is it uh, sadness? Is it happiness? Is it broken heartedness? What it's is it? It's all things. Yeah. And I think nature is a big part because I grew up in Hawaii. Yeah. In Hawaii, so um, yeah, you know the ocean and right. The beautiful. Do you ever like do something and then go, oh, I gotta write a song about that, Sometimes. or that guy just that guy I hate that guy. I gotta write a song about that. Sometimes, like recently, <laughs> um, I recently moved to the country from um, L.A. Uh -huh. a couple of years ago. So I think, you know, the new single I have, um, Bottom of a Rainbow, yes. is about returning home and living in the country and how yeah. the best things in life are free. Yeah, we, you, when you move away is when you appreciate it the most, right? Yes. And that's really why we do this show. There's a lot of people now watching, I mean, everywhere from New York to L.A., Canada, uh, and, you know, that have moved away mm -hmm. and they get homesick. And that's the biggest thing I think we get. Yeah. You know, so you that's what you're doing. You're spreading aloha through your music. Yeah, right? and that's what I want to do is let people uh, a glimpse of what we do here in Hawaii yeah. or how we are raised. So I think the shrimp looks good. I'm going to flip it over. That does look good. Ooh, and the garlic looks good, too. Can we do a little bit more butter? Yep, please. Right, a little more butter. Kokua. I'm a butter fanatic. Me, too. All right. How's that? Yeah. Maybe a little okay. more. <laughs> Whatever you want to do some more. Do all you want. You're in sure. Okay. 
Everyone says, hey, you're a chef. I'm not a chef. I have to clarify that. I give credit to all the chefs out there because I couldn't do what they do. I just have people cook for me. Yes, I'm down that. for that, yes. Right? Ooh, that looks really good. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna cook up the rest of these and then uh, what are you gonna make next? Well, we can't forget the most important oh, ingredient. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Some white wine uh, and you gotta uh, check and make sure not to see. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, Manga, just right, yeah. All right, just so right. then you want to pour in some of this. Okay. <laughs> good job. Now <laughs> we're cooking. Now, now we're cooking. We're cooking. All right, when we come lady. back, we're going to finish all this up and start on her next dish, all right? So don't go anywhere. Kimie is here, right here, on cooking Hawaiian style. <laughs> Boy, that smells good. Welcome back. I'm here with Kimmy A. Miner, and she made this unbelievable haula shrimp. And what are you going to make for us next? Next, we're making crispy gauji. Crispy gauji. I'm just yes. going to plate this for you so you can get that started. Okay. What do we so, need? We need all of these ingredients here <laughs> and <laughs> water, chestnuts, uh -huh. shoyu, aloha shoyu, sesame seeds. We have pork, shrimp, and I'm going to cut the green onions. Okay. Okay. Have you done this one before? Um, well, this is one of my favorites that I grew up eating with my dad at Chinese. My dad's favorite food is um, Chinese food. Nice. So this was always the thing I would eat. All right, and I'm going to get your uh, your hot oil going here, okay? Just so okay. When, we're, when you're ready, we can uh, get those shrimp inside this pan here. Okay. Crispy so, gauji. What nationalities are you? I'm Hawaiian Portuguese. My name is Japanese, and I like Chinese food. <laughs> that's, well, that's pretty much all of us, right? We're yes. all like uh, mixed what? plate, mixed plate mutts. So I got the water chestnuts that I'm gonna put inside of the food processor. This okay. is an easy one because you just put them all in the food processor. All right. So and then you want to pulse that for a little while, get that chopped up, okay. and you add the shrimp. Shrimps. The shrimps. More shrimp. Okay. I hope uh, if you have gout, you probably don't want to eat this one. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Anything else in there? <laughs> yeah, and then you're going to do the pork. Okay, I'm going to get this bowl out of your way. Thank you. How much pork are you doing over there? Um, one pound. One pound, okay. <laughs> and then the egg. egg. Oh, God, I got to crack the egg. This is like yeah. my one thing that you want to... Oh. Go ahead. No, okay. let's just see it. Okay, yeah. it's okay. A little shell never guitar. hurt nobody. You got to be, be good with your okay. hands, right? That so was perfect. So two eggs. Okay, okay. you want not a chance. Okay. One hand. Ooh, no. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I did good. There okay. you go. And then you <laughs> do this Food again. Processor. Yeah. Okay. And we got the these. The egg uh, helps to mix it all together. All right, and we got these uh, little lumpia wrappers, wonton wrappers. Yeah. That you can buy in any uh, of your stores. Uh, and then you stores. just throw the rest of it in, which okay. is uh, so one packet dashi. Okay, the dashi. Simon packet. Yes, the Simon packet. All right. And then and all this. We got. Uh, what else you got there? Oh, some sesame seed. <coughs> you just got a handful of sesame oyster seed. Sauce? Yeah, oyster some sauce. Some oyster sauce. And you put a, a couple of teaspoons of uh, sesame oil. Yes. All right. And by the way, we'll put all of this on our website, okay? CookingHawaiianStyle.com. Yes. And just get it all together? Yeah. All right, we've got about a minute. That's we got to get one of these in the fryer. Okay. Our oil Where's is nice our, and hot. I mean, our bowl. Okay. And let's just I don't need yeah, we'll do it under there. Stuff. So what do we okay, do? Okay, where's the? Okay, so you just get the, your wonton the wrapper, wrapper, and you okay. put your filling. I like to put a little bit more. Oh, do we got to thank Leanne Wong? She kind of helped you do this. Leanne huh? Wong, yes. <laughs> Leanne right. Wong um, taught me how to do dumplings. All right. So we're making a different style. So of you dumplings. just wet each edge. Yeah. Make a little. Oh look, dumpling. I forgot that. So we'll just use it as a garnish. I always overstuff them. My okay, bad. that's okay. I like them overstuffed. Me too. And then we're gonna. I'm gonna use this tongs here. Okay. I'm gonna just drop it in the oil. All right. The crispier, Make the sure better. Make the oil is hot. All right. Let me move this out of the way so these guys can see what you're doing. Okay. So you okay. wanna wet two sides right. and you put it together. Just fold them over. Fold them over. Easy. Yes. Easy. All Super right, easy to make. You're doing good. Thanks. You're doing good. <laughs> So you, I forgot you, to put the green onions, so we will garnish. Do you after. ever get nervous? Because you, I mean, you play music in front of crowd, thousands of people all the time. In front of a camera, how are you with the camera? You all right? Well, this is my first cooking debut, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> all right, we're bit. gonna we're gonna continue the rest of these. I want at least twelve of these, okay. so we got we got a bunch Probably. more to make. Put them in some hot oil, and uh, when we come back, we'll finish up uh, all this stuff and show you what it looks like. Okay, so don't go anywhere. More with Kimmy A right here on Cooking Hawaiian Style.
Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. We're just finishing up your wontons. Mm -hmm. They look good. They look good. Here's the last one here. I'm going to just plate that. And then what do we got next? We got to make some dessert, don't yes, we? Yes, my favorite dessert ever, Kona Coffee Mud Pie. Okay, and I'm going to uh, get some, uh, get a hot pan for you going here. What do we need? Okay, so we want two tablespoons of aloha shoyu okay. and butter and a fourth cup of brown sugar. Okay, you want to get started on yes, that? Yes, sure. I'll let sure. you go on this side. Okay. And so then we got these, uh, these little pie uh, that you pre-bought, graham cracker pie crust. Yeah, if we had more time, I would make my own, but... That, yeah, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay to do these types of things, by the way. You don't have to make everything from so scratch. So I put the butter and the brown sugar first and okay. let it melt. All We're right. making the caramel sauce. And the secret ingredient is my favorite, aloha shoyu. Oh, you never thought you would have dessert with aloha shoyu, did you? Well, we're gonna, so good. We're gonna I love salty sweet food. It's yeah. my favorite. Savory and salty. Mm -hmm. So and here's the you shoyu the... right here. Okay. Some show you. We're gonna put the recipe on the website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. Chocolate. Hershey's chocolate. Yep. We got about and of two. course, we need the Kona coffee. These are freeze dried espressos. Okay. Kona coffee. We're just doing like a pinch. You Maybe a little another bit more? one more, one more. Okay. Because we're also more. using Kona coffee ice cream. All right. And we're gonna use Kona coffee mac nuts. Okay, we got some ice cream in the freezer. I'm gonna grab it right here. Okay, thank uh, you. We got some already pre made because you wanna get it, well, frozen but not. Not so hard. Yeah, right, soft. Guess. Yeah. Not too soft, not too hard, but okay. just right. <laughs> and we got a little bit of cream, right? What are you gonna do with this? You're gonna yeah. add that in I the end? I gotta add that in, yeah. Okay. Maybe okay. about. And we got about uh, two tablespoons of cream. Yes. Okay. You like desserts? I love. This is this reminds me of my birthday every year when I was growing up. If I got good grades, I got to go to Huggles on the Rocks in Kona <laughs> and get their famous Kona coffee nice. mud well, pie. Is that your favorite? Your mud pie? Is that yes. your favorite dessert? Yes. Just they reminds me of my pie. childhood. If, if they didn't have mud pie, what, what's your go-to second? Well, my dad's favorite dessert is custard pie, so we pretty much had to get that yeah. if my dad was with us. I like the Halpia custard pie. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Are you so on, uh, you're, you're a big social media person. What's yeah. Your, what's your Instagram? Play Kimie. Okay. That's my Twitter, Instagram, um, Kimie Hawaii on Facebook. P-L-A-Y. Yeah, Play. Play Kimie. Yes. Ooh, All right, so that what, smells so good. Okay. You just let that go for what? Till it thickens up a yep. little bit? Mm -hmm. That doesn't smell good. Mm. Chocolate and shoyu. I know it sounds weird, but shoyu caramel sauce with corner coffee. Well, you know, everyone's yeah. doing uh, chocolates now with a little bit of Hawaiian salt. They're giving that savory, salty taste. Yes. That, you know, So th I, that's going to work fine. All okay. right. So when you're almost done, or when you're done, then you want to drizzle some of this okay. on top. Oh, first I'm gonna put the mac nuts. Okay. These are Kona coffee mac nuts. So you just sprinkle some on the top there? Mm-hmm. And okay. if you have any whipped cream or you wanna put any yep. whipped cream, then you can. Or if you're watching your calories, you don't need to. Yeah. If you're watching your calories, you shouldn't even be watching this. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't even be touching any oh, of this. Okay, and then okay. some of this, drizzle some of this sauce on there. Oh, that looks good. Up to you how much you want. Yeah. So that flavor's gonna look good in there. All right, when we come back, I get to try Voila. all these great foods that Kimmy A has cooked for us today. We got dessert, and maybe you do a song? Sure, yes. Yeah, we'll go look for the guitar. Kimmy A hanging out with us more with Cooking Hawaiian Style. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. Mahalo, Kimie. What a Mahalo. what a spread! Thanks for having me. We got me the on. Uh, haulu garlic shrimp. We got the wontons, and we got the dessert that I'm gonna be trying. You gotta go get her uh, new CD. It's out right now. We gotta thank the Four Seasons Resort right here on Lanai. What a beautiful place to Gorgeous. be. Home sweet home. Can you play us a song? Sure. We'll see you guys next time. In the country. That's where you'll find me in the front seat. Mmm, that Bronco, baby. Yeah, our fingers do the dancing. Radio romancing. We lie by the ocean. Drive by the warm sun. Fragrant flowers from a tree. Hair blowing in the cool, cool breeze. The best.
best things in life come free. We got pennies in our pockets. They still shine like gold. Cause we're living at the bottom. The bottom of a rainbow. No house on a hilltop. We still call this home. Yeah, we're living at the bottom. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Kimmy A. Mine, and we'll see you next time, next week, for Cooking Hawaiian Style, Ahui Ho. Excellent. You did a great job. I'm going to hire you. I can do two things. Yeah. <laughs> no dessert. You can do dessert, too. Bottom of a rain.